Aquarius 13 a barometer. Now a barometer measures the pressure of the air and it is understood that by determining the air pressure we can know something of the weather that's coming. And my first experience of a barometer was when I was a very young boy and I saw my grandfather tapping the glass. He used to call it the glass and it was a very simple device. It just um, it allowed the, the movement of water up and down in the glass and he'd, he'd tap it and he'd say, oh, we're in for a storm. And he wouldn't go fishing because to go fishing in a storm was quite a dangerous thing. He was a, a fisherman. So it was necessary for him to have some sense of the future and his life depended upon it. The extent to which we can plan depends upon our sense of what's going to happen in the future and the barometer is uh, just a clue as to the kind of thing that we can look at to get some evidence of what must come. There are two aspects of the future, what must come and what may come. We can know something about the future by focusing on what must be. If certain conditions are in place, then a certain result must occur. If we're going to plant apple seeds in conditions which support the growth of an apple tree, then we will get an apple tree. We most assuredly won't get a pear tree. But we don't know who's going to win the football match. That aspect of the future is unknown. These two are different in, in their implications on our life. A lot of people are surprised sometimes when something happens and, and they get shocked because an inevitable, predictable event occurs. It will become very wet. It will become very cold at some point in the winter. We know this. We don't know what day it's going to happen on, but we do know that it will happen. If you get involved in a love affair, there will be an argument one day. You will actually come to a point where it looks as though you might not continue in that love affair. This isn't perhaps, this is must, this must be, this is the way of life. So if you enter any situation, an employment, you know that your boss is going to ask you to do something that you really don't want to do and you're going to be forced. You know that you're going to feel undervalued at some point. These are not maybe that will happen in the future. These are, yes, this will happen in the future. How do you deal with that? Aquarius 13 suggests that we consult information. We take the trouble before the event to plan. It's like looking at a map before you get in the car to do a long journey, making sure the tire pressures are okay, making sure you've got a jack and equipment to deal with punctures, just planning ahead. And this is an aspect of life. This is how we control what can be controlled in life. It's surprising that those people um, who just don't do that and trust that life will be okay, it's surprising that they're surprised when it's not. An aspect of life is that we must plan to some extent. Now we're talking about Aquarius here. We're not talking about overkill on Saturn. Aquarius has Saturn as its co-ruler, but it's not like Capricorn. There's no obsession in Aquarius to structure things. They just do the necessary structuring. And this is what we're discussing here. Do the necessary planning for what's coming in your life. Just that. You don't have to have anxiety about the future or control it totally. But what can be measured, what can be anticipated, needs to be measured and anticipated because life is dangerous. Life is always a challenge and sometimes it's a dangerous challenge. Now by extension, this degree has the meaning beyond the idea of being able to measure and control what is coming in the future. 
it it goes beyond that because the question what does my future hold is a type of question which is mysterious and there are many such questions in life and here we have an example of the relationship between question and answer in the Bible it says seek and ye shall find it's the same principle when you approach the unknown with an attitude of mind something about the unknown reveals itself to you in a mysterious way the question is what we need to focus on what is it that we want to know it's not only the future we also want to know the present what's actually going on right now it's quite ironic sometimes that people give so much attention to using astrology to predict the future when actually they have a very poor grasp on the present it's really foolish indeed to consider the idea that you can know the future when you don't know the present and astrology does give us this information we can know the present and we know the present by asking questions what am I to do now what is the best decision now what qualities within me need to be de need to be developed now what what things do I have to accept that I cannot change these questions can be answered very clearly if the questions are specific if you ask an airy fairy vague question what's going to happen in my future there's no way that you could understand the answer even if the answer could be given to you but if you say specifically which of my range of qualities are the important ones for me to develop relationship or to develop career or, or, or whatever if you ask those questions then some mysterious process occurs and the answers unfold before you not only in time but actually in the asking of the question this is quite a profound secret it seems very few people have, uh, have focused on it the question needs a lot of focus if you ask your question very clearly the process it takes of the mind to formulate the question into clarity is the very process that attracts the answer without a clear question no clear answer with a clear question clear answer guaranteed I think Aquarius 13 is teaching us this mm -hmm.